Hey, Red Dog, back at you with another episode of your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. This time I'm back in the kitchen. We haven't done a cooking episode in a while, and this video is coming out in November, which means Thanksgiving and Christmas are right around the corner, and maybe you could use a new recipe for one of your upcoming holiday parties. The recipe I'm sharing today is called Landis Cake. This was a cake that my grandmother made all the time. Um, we don't know where it comes from. Uh, sadly, I can't ask her anymore. Two thoughts are it could be from the Landis Store Hotel in Landis Store, Pennsylvania. It could come from there. It could also come from some old Pennsylvania Dutch woman whose last name was Landis that made this cake. We don't know. And uh, it doesn't matter because it's delicious and it's an easy cake to make and it's something different. So we're going to go into the kitchen. Well, we're already in the kitchen. We're going to stay in the kitchen. We're going to show you how to make a Pennsylvania Dutch style Landis cake. Okay, so step one in this cake, it's pretty easy, is we're gonna start with our sturdy mixer here. And in the bowl, I already have three cups of powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, and to that, we're gonna add eight tablespoons of butter, and we're gonna cream the sugar and the butter. Put my paddle on here. Now, powdered sugar can make a mess. Let's hope that it doesn't fly up <laughs> like it does sometimes. Okay, so we've mixed our butter and our confectioner sugar. Now we're gonna add the four egg yolks. Remember, separate it, your eggs, not the whites and the yolks, just the yolks. Your Pennsylvania Dutch word, oi dada. There they are, four egg yolks. Those are gonna go in. We're gonna mix those, and then to that, a cup of milk as well. Okay, so we've mixed our confectioner sugar, our egg yolks, our butter, and our milk. It's quite soupy right now. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients. We have two cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. So that's gonna go in and we're going to mix this up. We'll start to get a thicker batter. And then at the very end, we're gonna add our four egg whites. Okay, we have mixed all our ingredients. I have a buttered and floured cake pan. You could use glass, you could use metal, of course. My grandmother would often make this as a layer cake, so you could do it in two rounds. Um, but I'm doing it in just a rectangular cake pan today. Don't let anything go to waste, otherwise it's not a Pennsylvania Dutch cake. I'll let a little bit for my kids. Because like when I was a kid, I got to lick the bowl and spoon too. I'm sure you did too. Kind of level it out a little bit. This is going into a 350 degree oven. For 30 minutes, I'll check it around probably 28 minutes, see it's, if it's done or not. If it is, I'll pull it. If not, you know, the old toothpick trick. You guys know it if you've done any baking. So we'll come back in about 30 minutes and check on our Landis cake. Okay, so our cake has been in the oven for 30 minutes. I tested it, toothpick came out clean. So let's get this bad boy out of the oven. As you can see, put this here to cool a little bit. Nice golden brown. 
So the one thing I didn't mention, we're gonna let this cool for a little bit and then we'll taste it. Um, but this cake actually, uh, I love it so much that I asked my grandmother to make this as our wedding cake, um, a version of this, and she did. And everybody that was at the wedding loved it. So it's good stuff, trust me. All right, we're gonna let this cool. We'll come back in a couple minutes and taste. So our cake has cooled. Now, you could do anything with this. You can ice it, you could powder sugar dust it, however you would want. And again, like I said, my grandmother would sometimes make this as a layer cake in rounds or in a cake form like this. It's totally up to you what you wanna do with it. I'm gonna serve it completely plain though um, because I like that way sometimes. Really good with coffee. Take this corner right here. So as you can see, it's nice and fluffy. Typical white cake, but a little different because of the high concentration of powdered sugar instead of granulated sugar. So let's see if it tastes like it should. Again, just plain, I'm eating it plain, but you could do anything to it you wanted. Start it with fresh fruit. Mm. It's really a light and fluffy cake. It's not a heavy cake. Good with a good cup of coffee. Try Landis cake sometime. It's an easy recipe. Anyone could do it. I think you'll really like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a Pennsylvania Dutch style Landis cake. Uh, we have other cooking videos on the channel. Please look around and find. I know there's one on there for corn pie and how to make sauerkraut. We'll try and bring some more cooking videos in the future. Till next time, if you like what we're doing here and you'd like to support the channel, please buy me a coffee. The link is in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to get your own Pennsylvania Dutch merch, we've added some new stuff to the store, so check out our Zazzle shop. That link is in the show notes as well. Till next time, dear friends, keep practicing your Pennsylvania Dutch and Max good. Ich kann deutsche Worte singen, auf so kannst du.